Working in disasters is always difficult. And it's always quite hard going to those situations and knowing what to do. This challenge, knowing what to do and doing it well, was one of the main motivations to develop the Sphere Handbook, a universal tool for delivering humanitarian response in a predictable yet flexible way. As with any tool, you must understand how to use the Sphere Handbook. This video will help you understand how to use the Sphere Handbook effectively in different humanitarian contexts. Sphere is based on the premise that disaster-affected people have rights, which are spelled out in the Humanitarian Charter. The minimum standards put these rights into practice, respecting people's needs and considering their aspirations. The protection principles and core standards help you fulfill the rights of the affected population and ensure their participation. The universal sphere minimum standards apply in all humanitarian situations. Every situation is unique and often very challenging. Each standard is accompanied by key indicators which show to what extent the standard has been met. These indicators must be considered in context and carefully adapted where necessary, with the help of the key actions and guidance notes. When you describe, explain and mitigate the gaps between the SPHERE indicators and the ones reached in practice, you are conforming to SPHERE and you are being accountable both to your donors and to the people you seek to assist. Now we will look at different contexts in which humanitarian organizations work with the Sphere Handbook. Our first example takes us to the south of Pakistan, to Sindh province. We are in the Indus River Delta in the Thatta district. This is a high-risk flood zone. In August 2010, the river broke through the protective dike here, in Cote al -Mau. Nationwide, the monsoon of 2010 affected 21 million people and left 10 million homeless. Mashi was able to evacuate his family from the floods, but he lost some of his livestock, as did many other families. In this region, animals represent the key livelihoods for most families, and they often live with them under one roof. Now, many families are restocking. One NGO works on hygiene promotion, in consultation with the population and respecting the importance livestock has for their survival. One of the standards the NGO uses is Essential Health Services Standard 1, Communicable Disease Prevention. Its key indicator states that incidences of major communicable diseases relevant to the context are stable, not increasing. With animals living so close to humans, this goal is difficult to reach, especially during floods. So the NGO provides livestock management training, following the Sphere standards and the Sphere companion standards on livestock, legs. The people have their own system and culturally they adapted and they were practicing for a long time. They want to keep animal very close to them. Most of the time, they keep the animal in their houses. 
This is one of the cause for communicable diseases. Our staff went ahead and given a lot of awareness and training to the community and made the people aware of the situation to separate animals from their uh, original living places. There need to more focus on livestock management to teach the people how can we keep and where we can keep the livestock properly to save ourselves and our children, our people. We need to look out of box uh, as per their need, as per our local and cultural and uh, country context. In this example, as in the next one, the NGO developed their program respecting particular local customs. Here we are in the Khyber Pakhtunkhwa province in northern Pakistan. In October 2005, a strong earthquake devastated part of this region. This example shows a local NGO's efforts to avoid exclusion of a part of the affected population. Both are families who are vulnerable. और उसमें काफी सारी खावतीन जो हैं विडोस हुई हैं और जब मुख्तलिफ इदारे आए काम करने के लिए तो उनको वो अपरचुंटीज नहीं दी जा रही थी मेल डोमिनेट सोसाइटी होने की वजह से स्पेशली विडोस को इग्नोर किया जा रहा था और उनकी जगह दूसरे लोग उनकी जितनी भी रिलीफ थी उसको कवर करने की कोशिश कर रहे थे तो वहाँ पर रुक्षाना lost two of her children and her husband in the earthquake. Since then she has been living with her father-in-law. ਜਿਹੜੀ ਸਹੀ ਸੀ ਨਫਤੀ ਕਾਰਡ ਖੜਨ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਨਾਲ ਮਰਦਾ ਸੀ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਕੋ ਜਲਦੀ ਦੇ ਦਿੰਦੇ ਸੀ ਤੇ ਜਿਹੜੀਆਂ ਬੇਵਾਸ ਜਾਂ ਔਰਤਾਂ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਦਾ ਕੋਈ ਵੀ ਨਾ ਸਾ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਕੋ ਫਿਰ ਨਾ ਦੇ ਦਿੰਦੇ ਸੀ ਚੱਕਰ ਕਰ ਦਿੰਦੇ ਸੀ ਟੂ ਮੇਕ ਅ ਡਿਫਰੈਂਸ ਇਨ ਦ ਲਾਈਵਸ ਆਫ ਅਫੈਕਟਿਡ ਪੋਪੂਲੇਸ਼ਨਸ ਇਟ ਇਜ਼ ਇੰਪੋਰਟੈਂਟ ਟੂ ਅੰਡਰਸਟੈਂਡ ਵਾਟ ਏਡ ਇਜ਼ ਨੀਡਿਡ ਐਂਡ ਹਾਊ ਇਟ ਸ਼ੁੱਡ ਬੈਸਟ ਬੀ ਪ੍ਰੋਵਾਈਡਡ ਥਿਸ ਮੀਨਸ ਅ ਥਰ ਕੰਟੈਕਸਟ ਅਨਾਲਿਸਿਸ ਐਂਡ ਆਨਗੋਇੰਗ ਕੰਸਲਟੇਸ਼ਨ ਵਿਦ ਲੋਕਲ ਅਥਾਰਟੀਜ਼ ਐਂਡ ਦ ਅਫੈਕਟਿਡ ਪੋਪੂਲੇਸ਼ਨ ਇਟਸੈਲਫ This local NGO set up a cash for work program. Among many other sphere standards, the NGO applied food security livelihood standard 2, income and employment. One of its key indicators states that responses providing employment opportunities are equally available to women and men. But in the Khyber Pakhtunkhwa province, women do not have the right to work. Jaisa ki aap log jante hain ki KP ke andar bahut se tribe Uh, रहते हैं और उनके अपने अपने कल्चर्स के अंदर अपने अपने रोल्स uh, होते हैं तो खातन के ऊपर उनका बहुत ज़्यादा होल्ड होता है और वो स्पेशली मेन डोमिनेट सोसाइटी है के पी के अंदर वो खातन को डिसीजन मेकिंग में इन्वॉल्व नहीं करते most of the benefits to which you can get from cash for work programs were going to were the men and men were having more access and women were having not access to that so it was a challenge for us to design such programs where women can work silsile ke baad is ilake mein kp ke andar khawatin ko first time jo hai apne gharon se bahar nikalne ka mauka mila to hamare jo jitne bhi livelihood ke projects hote hain hum koshish karte hain maximum khawatin ko focus kare usme इसमें हमारी जो स्ट्रेटी होती है हमने कम्युनिटी लेवल के ग्रुप्स बनाए हुए हैं वहाँ पर हम लोगों को सेंसिटाइज करने के लिए सेशंस देते हैं वुमेन राइट्स के ऊपर सेशंस देते हैं और ये सिर्फ खातन की तरफ नहीं होते मेल कम्युनिटी में भी होते हैं क्योंकि माइंडसेट उनका चेंज करना होता है With micro loans managed by NGOs, some women were able to open small shops. All of this would have been impossible before 2005. Here we are in the Democratic Republic of Congo, one of the world's poorest countries, with general living conditions often below the sphere standards. In addition, successive conflicts in the highly volatile North Kivu province in eastern DRC 
have been affecting and displacing the population for many years. Kambi kwa hapa sababu tulichimbia insecurity ya FDR parekona maimai. Hawa walipora mari yetu, walibaka wabibi na wabinti zetu, walirunguza manyumba hata na kuwa watu. Mbo, basi, kure tulikuwa kure hakuna kurata kunyumba. Mchana sai ni kupiga chakura. Mi mkisha inia mangaribi hakuna kusema utatoka tenu. Fujo gani? Basi, ya masasi unangia mushamba, kama ukupambamu na bibi yao, kama ukawote muizi ni kubakia kuri wanaba huu. Targeting the most vulnerable among the affected population must be done in a transparent, predictable and coordinated way. The SPHERE standards provide the common language for successful coordination and collaboration. We have first a good target. So we have to make sure that the aid arrives to the most need. We have to identify in the community the most need that we call the vulnerable. Au niveau même de la communauté humanitaire, on essaie de travailler ensemble pour arriver à donner des critères qui soient objectifs. Et c'est ces critères-là qui nous permettent d'harmoniser nos, nos interventions. Et bien sûr, les critères sont basés sur des normes que nous puisons dans, dans les manuels sphères. This is Goma, North Kivu's capital. Here, as in many parts of the country, the water supply situation is precarious. Every day, families fill their jerry cans on the shores of Lake Kivu. Clean water is too expensive for many, especially the displaced. Let's look at water supply standard one, access and water quantity. The standard calls for safe and equitable access to a sufficient quantity of water. Like all sphere standards, it is a concrete expression of rights. In this case, the right to water. The terms safe, equitable, and sufficient must be interpreted for this specific context, for example, with help of this quantitative key indicator. Average water use for drinking, cooking, and personal hygiene in any household is at least 15 liters per person per day. Like qualitative indicators, quantitative indicators may need to be adapted to context. This one must take into account how much water is available. Guidance note 2 helps prioritize the use of water. Lors de la planification de programme d'eau et assainissement où on implique toutes les catégories euh, sociales, c'est-à-dire les hommes, les femmes, les garçons et les filles, on leur dit écoutez, l'eau qu'on va vous donner, ça doit servir à la boisson, à la cuisson, aux toilettes des femmes aux toilettes des enfants, parce que ce sont les catégories les plus vulnérables. Mais les hommes doivent aller se débrouiller à la rivière pour se baigner ou au ruisseau. Et cela marche très bien parce que ça rejoint la culture de population rurale du Congo. Et là, vous voyez que les femmes et les enfants qui restent à la maison sont bien protégés. Here we are in Bunagana, on the Ugandan border, where an NGO runs a supplemental food program in schools. Let's focus on Food Security Food Transfers Standard 1. General nutritional requirements and its first indicator. There is adequate access to a range of foods that together meet nutritional requirements. Guidance Note 2 of this standard helps interpret the term adequate of this qualitative indicator. It recommends 2,100 kilocalories per person per day for general rations and suggests that rations should make up the difference between the nutritional requirement and what people can provide for themselves. La population consomme une alimentation de 1610 kilocalories en dehors des urgences. Et alors, imaginez-vous dans les urgences, ça va être combien? Pour sauver les vies humaines, on donne ce qu'on a, mais on leur donne aussi des intrants agricoles, c'est-à-dire des outils aratoires et des semences, que nous le demandons, de cultiver pour pouvoir compléter cette ration. On appelle ça les lingalinga ici, c'est des légumes qui poussent après 21 jours et qui alors peuvent compléter un peu et relever les niveaux de la population bénéficiaire. 
Les manuels, nous nous en servons. Mais ça ne répond pas toujours aux besoins réels tels que nous les constatons sur le terrain. Alors, nous cherchons d'autres mécanismes. C'est des mécanismes que nous trouvons avec la population elle-même. Et la plupart des fois, ça vient même de la population, sans que les organisations humanitaires en recommandent. The NGO provides about 600 calories per child per day. They also work with the INI minimum standards for education in emergencies, a sphere companion. Ce sont les parents qui amènent les bois de chauffe. Ce sont les parents qui amènent de l'eau. Et ce sont les parents qui préparent pour leurs enfants. Penser remettre ces gens dans leur dignité demande aussi la conjugaison des efforts de, de, de tous les autres partenaires. D'un côté, il y a le, le PAM, il y a aussi les parents, il y a aussi la communauté. Donc vous sentez que c'est un effort conjugué de toutes parts. On essaie de voir où est-ce qu'il y a des gaps et où est-ce que nous pouvons trouver des fonds additionnels pour pouvoir rendre l'intervention beaucoup plus efficace. Par exemple, là où nous étions à cette école, des questions d'hygiène se posent. On se dit, mais comment l'enfant, avant de manger, on doit s'assurer qu'il sait laver les mains comme se recommander. Et avec ça, nous avons trouvé un autre partenaire qui a financé un programme de roche. Et cela a permis que nous puissions aussi respecter les normes d'hygiène pour que ces enfants, avant de manger, puissent se laver les mains et manger dans des conditions qui sont bien recommandées. As we saw with the examples of the Democratic Republic of Congo, in addition to supporting the most vulnerable, the approach is often to provide basic facilities for the entire affected population, rather than fully reaching the minimum standards for only a proportion. One important aspect of contextualizing SPHERE is to mainstream its standards and indicators into national disaster preparedness and disaster management structures and to improve coordination between the humanitarian sector and government. Here is the example of Bolivia. In May 1998, the largest earthquake in the past 50 years shook Bolivia, killing around 100 people and leaving thousands homeless. After this event, the country took action. A natural disaster risk prevention and preparedness law was passed in 2000. Numerous emergency operation centers, COE in Spanish, were created throughout the country. They bring together stakeholders at municipal, departmental and national levels. Top-level coordination is seen as essential. Las normas esfera están ya establecidas en el ámbito de nuestra constitución. Hay 36 municipios que ya tienen organizados sus COEs municipales, eso está respaldado con alguna normativa ¿verdad? de carácter municipal. Y también están un conjunto de, de, de redes, ¿no? en particularmente una red humanitaria en Bolivia, que está eh, acompañando el desarrollo de las actividades del COE nacional. The most recent national state of emergency occurred in 2011. Within a few weeks, the La Niña weather pattern affected tens of thousands of people. In La Paz, a landslide destroyed 800 homes in the Cupini district. In the Amazon region, rivers ran over their banks, affecting hundreds of families. Yo vivía antes aquí en Zio, donde ese era Melote, ¿no? Una noche llega turbión, y mi casa ha llegado turbión solamente, y le he sacado mis cositas, no me decía. As soon as the flooding started, the emergency operations center was activated. Its actions saved lives and livelihoods. Esfera entra en la gestión de la autoridad departamental. Podamos aplicar estas normas mínimas de atención y trabajar de manera coordinada para eficientizar los recursos. Vemos que muchos actores humanitarios también toman como referencia estos parámetros. Esfera es fundamental en orientarnos estos procesos. ¿no? In La Paz, several months have passed since the landslide. The National Disaster Preparedness Program worked well. 
the Kopini district had been identified as one of four high-risk areas, and the municipality had built evacuation shelters for at-risk families just before this disaster. Este campamento, precisamente como es un campamento planificado, todo de acuerdo a la normativa esfera. Tamaño de los módulos prefabricados, los espacios entre módulos, la señalización, la cantidad de módulos sanitarios, los servicios higiénicos de limpieza y todo aquello, está todo estratificado de acuerdo a la normativa esfera. Hemos trabajado mucho con la gente en sus niveles de resiliencia, precisamente en la recuperación psicoafectiva, en la recuperación emocional, en levantar su autoestima y tratar de mejorar con este tipo de ambiente su calidad de vida también. Consideramos que ha sido una prueba importante de cómo el nivel nacional, departamental y municipal han integrado sus esfuerzos y han podido responder plenamente a esta emergencia eh, y obviamente tratando sobre todo de cumplir eh, principios humanitarios fundamentales. ¿no? As we saw, using the Sphere Handbook in a coordinated and context-sensitive way requires that all actors involved understand it and use it well. Sphere trainings and university programs around the world, like that of the University of Cochabamba, contribute to this goal. Nosotros hemos visto de que a través del proyecto Esfera que podamos formar a nuestros eh, profesionales y técnicos también que trabajen en las diferentes esferas de gobierno, eh, departamental, municipal, queremos que nuestros estudiantes, nuestros profesionales tengan esa capacidad de respuesta inmediata a estos efectos. Puedan irradiar la lógica y además los principios del proyecto Esfera que consideramos que son sumamente importantes, no solamente para Bolivia, sino para todo el planeta. For over 15 years, the Sphere project has helped promote respect for human dignity and humanitarian response, and increasingly in disaster management. Today, the Sphere project and its companion standards are part of a broader trend to improve quality and accountability in the humanitarian sector through stronger coordination of humanitarian response around a shared set of principles and standards. The more these are integrated in every aspect of humanitarian work, the closer we may get to the ultimate goal of alleviating suffering, however difficult the circumstances, while respecting the dignity, rights and voices of those we seek to assist. <laughs>